Welcome to Lessons with Cameron. In this video, we're going to look at the Fender USA made Telecaster. This particular one has an ash body, so I was able to get the kind of whitewashed finish here, which uh, is called a white blonde. Uh, this gives us a little bit of wood grain through the white, so it's kind of a white wash color. Not so much a, uh, so much as a, like an Olympic white or a Arctic white, which would be a solid white color. The neck of this thing here is an entire one-piece maple neck, so when we look close we actually can see that there's no additional fingerboard attached to the front. The one-piece maple neck does have a nice look to it. It gives that classic Fender Telecaster look. The Fender Telecaster has been around for about 60 some odd years, and it was invented back in the 19, late 1940s by Leo Fender, and it's been a staple in guitar music, rock and roll music, and in really pretty much anywhere you look you're gonna find somebody carrying around a Telecaster. So it's kind of like a uh, a lot like a Stratocaster, but the key differences of course are you do have a slightly different body shape and you have a different selection of pickups. You've got a single coil pickup here and what we call a lipstick pickup in the back. The single coil gives us kind of a punchy <laughs> Kind of a real sharp biting sound, which is a real classic Fender tone. When we go to the other side of this lipstick pickup, we get a little bit more meat. In the middle, we get that middle ground. that kind of middle of the road tone where it's real thin and that's good if the Fender sound is what you're looking for. It's a very unique tone, it's real easy to pick out in recordings. Fender players of course are everywhere. It's one of the most popular companies in the guitar industry for a reason. These here typically run about $1200 to $1500 depending on the options and of course the street price is typically a little lower than that but what's key to remember is that these guitars even though they cost a lot less than a Gibson Les Paul certainly can actually keep up with them in a lot of places so you're gonna find players that really love their fenders because when it comes down to it you can always get two or three fenders for the price of one Gibson and for most musicians that pretty much seals the deal right there this makes Fender guitars real popular in that sense. Also, very useful for blues, which is of course Fender's staple, and it's one of the most popular guitars in blues, is the Fender Stratocaster, and among a smaller, slightly smaller group would be the Fender Telecaster group. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play through some different sounds and some different pickup configurations, and just give you a chance to hear what it sounds like. In this case, I've got it running through my DC-5 by Mesa Boogie. It's a 50 watt tube amp keeping it pretty much clean. The only thing I've got going on as far as the pedals go, I'm using a noise suppressor to cut down on a little bit of buzz that's pretty characteristic of a Fender. There's that buzz. I'm gonna go ahead and take the distortion off and put my noise suppressor back on and I'm silent as a church mouse. So here we go. This is clean with the lipstick pickup. switch to the middle pickup. It's a little less punchy for that sound so we'll go for something a little more mellow. So now we're going to kick on some distortion and give us a chance to hear what that sounds like.
So that kind of sums up what this Telecaster is capable of. A lot of people try to pigeonhole them into a specific style of music, and I'll tell you this much that my Telecaster has been by me from everything from one side of the spectrum to the other. Uh, it's a great guitar to have in your arsenal. Thanks for tuning in. This is Lessons with Cameron. Make sure to subscribe. Thank you.